Okay, I think everything's working. Uh, sorry for lack of videos. Uh, I've just been uh, even more sick recently. Uh, it's not bronchitis, it's actually tonsillitis. So, yeah, that's going to take a week to uh, get rid of. So, yeah. And also, my monitor, my other monitor broke, so recording is kind of like a hassle now. But that's okay, I'm going to try to power through and check out the latest update for H3VR. Uh, 4th of July, and we've got some uh, new stuff. Primarily, these uh, rolling blocks, right? Whoops. It's my uh, thing. Yeah, the rolling... Whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Why isn't my thing working? Go to... Input control. No, that's not the right one. Firearm object? No. Yes, where is it? Where is it? There's so many options now. Wrist menu, left hand? Oh, that's weird. See, it should be selected to the right hand. This is my left hand. Wait, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the uh, rolling blocks, right? So this is a rolling block rifle. We have a couple, actually. Uh, but uh, I don't know much about these. All you know is, is that uh, the pistol was already in the game, but Anton decided to uh, fix this one. So now it's the right size. It should be. But they are in different calibers. And, oh man, hold on. Just a second. Oops. Should be... Oh man. Like I said, I don't know much about these. Uh, they're kind of outside my, uh, my knowledge. But uh, they're pretty cool weapons. I think this is the right cartridge, but you know what? Let's just uh, let's just grab all these. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we've got the original cartridge here for the rolling block. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're pretty simple. That's... Oh. And uh, we should be able to score a hit. Okay. Go for a headshot. Ah, missed. What about this one? Ooh. So let me just take a look at these. This is your standard full metal jacket. This is... Okay. This is incendiary. What is this one? This one is 4570. Okay, so yeah, the other, the other rolling block right here is chambered in 4570. Which is pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, can we adjust this? No, we can't, right? No. Okay. That's all right. That's fine. That's pretty cool. Let's go a little farther. Let's go 10 meters. Reset the target. Get ourselves a nice little sight picture here. Hmm, all right. Hey! Cool, cool. And of course, we've got the original, which has been uh, revamped so to speak. So now, like I said, it should uh, be in correct dimension. Whoops. Accidentally. Wait, hold on just a second. <clears throat> oh man, this tonsillitis really sucks. Really good tip for you guys out there who, uh, 
probably younger than me, hopefully, but uh, get your tonsils removed because they are useless. They only bring you pain. <laughs> In fact, uh, I, I still have, I think I still have my tonsils and I still have my wisdom teeth. So those two things are really, really well, you know, they, they, they caused me a lot of problems, so I really need to uh, get that fixed. But anyways, where am I hitting? Oh, where am I hitting exactly? Yeah. But yeah, so these are the rolling blocks. Now, I want to do some weird stuff with these. Let's see if we can, uh, we can do a little bit of uh, customizing. I don't think we can... But, uh, oh, wait, hold on just a second. Turn on light my room here. Let me see if we can, uh, do some stuff. I don't think you can add a stock to these. I'm pretty sure you can't. Yep. And I don't think you can do any muzzle devices. Which is, uh, let's just try the, uh, suppressor here. Nope. Oh, well, before I throw that away, let's try these, uh, these actual rifles. No. Oh, well, you can't do anything. There's no rails or anything. All right. Well, you can't do that much with them, but uh, they are pretty cool, you know. And uh, great celebration. The history, you know, the history that these uh, these things have. I don't know much about, like I said, but. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much like Winchesters and lever actions, but uh, some of these ones are just a little too much, uh, too deep for me. So I'm going to have to read, about, uh, read up about these, which, uh, yeah. These are pretty cool guns, though. And um, there might be reproductions, I think. I'm not sure if you can get one, but I've always wanted to. Oops. Well, not these spe specifically. I think uh, for me personally, it was the uh, the uh, lever actions. There are the, like um, there are a bunch of like modern reproductions that you can buy, especially if you live in a uh, in a state that allows for uh, you know for gun purchases. But uh, yeah, I lived in Texas for quite a while, and uh, a lot of people well, not a lot of people. The people that I knew had like. You know, single action armies, uh, break action shotguns, and uh, lever action rifles. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that if you could find a modern replica of these things, that uh, well, not replica, modern modern, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, whatever, I forgot. Because I knew several people that had black powder weapons as well, and those were those were those were fun to shoot. Loading them, you know, not, not my thing, but uh, the the amount of smoke that they give out is is pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was I think uh, if I remember correctly, that was like the first time I uh, I saw a black powder rifle, and uh, I was I was a stupid kid, so I didn't think oh I should cover my ears right. That's where I was wrong. <laughs> I was a little deaf that day, <laughs> but. Uh, Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I've uh, I've come across a lot of people that have black powder uh, weapons, so uh, you can pretty much buy those. But yeah, that would be really interesting to to try uh, to to own one of those. Anyways, let's move on to the uh, two other, well, the one other thing uh, that Anton added, which should be in Meat Fortress, and uh, it's the new pistol right here, the sound check. Ooh, look at this beefy. Beefy boy. Very big. Let me check out. What round is this fire? 52 amp. Ooh, okay. Yeah, look at this thing. This is... Oh, I'm running out of space here. This is one beefy... Oh. oh. Should treat these, uh, <laughs> these, these rifles with more respect. They're classics. 
I'm just gonna throw them there. Oh man. Oh, well, you know what? Whatever. I was uh, I could have used the wrist menu, but nah, I don't have the time right now. All right, so let's uh, clear this and go back to three meters. And uh, let me see if I can. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can. Whoa. Let's see if I can adjust this. Let's lower this down to my level. A little higher. Well, that would be all right, right? Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, three meters. So this is the uh, sound check, obviously, named after Anton's, uh, one of Anton's signature, uh, one of Anton's signatures. Every time he starts a video, he does a sound check. Uh, let me just do uh, shot clock set, muzzle down. Wait, where's the front sight on this thing? I can't see it. Oh, that was terrible. Hold on just a second. Okay, there's a front sight there. All right, cool. Try that again. This thing has quite the kick to it, you know? Quite the recoil. Set a target. Ooh, wow. All right, so I'm going to have to just slow down on that firing. But it is very, very powerful. Love that sound. That's a nice sound right there. In fact, let me just check something out here. Go inside. Huh. It's a lot. Yeah, it's 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 pretty much it's uh, it's bigger than the uh, 50 50 AE, right? Yeah. Well, it is 52 amp, so it's back. Let's uh stick this into the Okay, hopefully that loaded it. Oh Oh, come on. Oh, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. And of course, to uh, finish it off, this dual wielding mode that I'm doing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it though. Very nice, chunky gun. Whoops, oh no. And actually, let me just see if there's any, uh, I don't remember exactly. I think there might be some alternate cartridges. No, oh, just jack jacketed Hollow Patriot. So let's fill this hell object. There we go. Ooh, there was a lot of uh, what you call it? A lot of sparks coming out of that. Oops, did I not? Come on. I wanted to, uh... Oh, well, nope. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I 
But yeah, there you go. The sound check. 52 amp. Very, very big. Powerful. Let me let me just check this out. Hold on. Ooh. It is about the size of a Desert Eagle. Although the Desert Eagle is a bit longer. And I think it has more capacity. I might be wrong though. Hold on. Just wait. Seven. Nope. Seven. Desert Eagle has like what? Seven? Yep, yeah, alright, so it's pretty much like a Desert Eagle. But in the style of a 1911. Really cool, though. I love that look. Also, the wood. Sort of, I guess, wood. You can call it wood. The wood uh, hand grips. I just love it. I love the look. <laughs> and, oh, before I stop, I was going to stop right here, but... Let's see if I can uh, do some stuff here. Uh, whoop, let me move that out of the way. Okay, we got all uh, all of our suppressors here. Let's uh, ooh, let's try the shotgun suppressor. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's too bad that it's a different color, but that will work. Let me just see how this sounds. Oh, that is nice. Can we actually, hold on, can we <clears throat> add a iPod, I mean, sorry, iPod, uh, a grip to the, uh, not a grip, a stock. Let's go with the uh, Mauser here. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no, you can't. That's too bad. And I don't think this atta uh, accepts any attachments. Oops, sorry. I wanted a laser. Let's try a light. Let's see a light. If the light will work. Nope. That's too bad. But you know what? Oh, no. I really like that sound, though. Oh, I need to get rid of some of these, uh, these rounds here. Move this up here. see what what this looks like on this eh, not quite what I want what else what else can we put on this thing SMG suppressor <clears throat> whoops I'm gonna do that you know what the shotgun suppressor I think fits best with this one <laughs> Oops. All right. Well, you know what? Let me stick this in the vault. Because this is the best we can do with the uh, customization. Uh, so many items in my vault. Okay, here we go. Scan that. That should be good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I really need to tell Anton, or, I, well, I need to ask him, not tell him. I'm, I'm not trying to demand anything, but I really need to ask him if he can add, like, a category for Meat Fortress weapons in the item spawner. Surprisingly, there's only two weapons that don't uh, scan into the vault, other than, like, stuff like the Metagun or something like that. But uh, if I remember correctly... 
the uh, Meat Fortress shotgun. Hold on just a second. No, that should be all. Yeah, the shotgun. And the spy's uh, petite liaison are not scannable into the vault. So you can put the shotgun down. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Right? I have all, I have most of all, most of all the uh, Meat Fortress guns in the vault, except for these two. So I need to, I need to, I need to ask him about that. Maybe that's a bug or something. I don't know. But those are the only two Meat Fortress guns that I do not have. Obviously, the Medic's Medigun does not work in there, but uh, I guess that's not really a gun. At least, I don't think so. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the uh, what's him call it? The soldier. Um, I'm not gonna try it in here. You should just watch the. Uh, should just watch the uh, the update video, because it's a lot better. But maybe uh, I might just shoot it off. But the uh, the soldier's rocket launcher, which I'm holding with the wrong hand here, has uh, some more. Uh, what you call it? Uh, some more ammo types. So, uh, got the rocket pop, which I think, oh yeah, you really, yeah, you need the uh, Sosix to show this off. But it freezes, it freezes Sosix, so. Again, you should just watch the update video because it's pretty much, uh, pretty good. All right, so this one is the rocket, and I think Anton said eight meters, right? So we'll go with 10. But it's basically like a shaped charge, right? Like Anton has described it. And uh, and then after, I think, about 8 meters, it uh, explodes and lots of rocks fragment out and uh, hit the target, which is weird. Should begin a new set. Let's try that again. Hold on. Uh, let's fill this held object. I think we got the rocket in here, right? Oh, yeah, we got the rocket. See? Uh, that's not showing that. I don't know why, but... <clears throat> one more time, one more time. Oh, there we go. As you can see, a lot of those, uh... The, uh, the the fragments or the uh, the rock the rocks. Let's go. Uh, let's go less than eight meters. Let's see what happens when you don't shoot it. Just makes a big hole. So we can actually cut this thing down. holding this I think it would be better if I use the dispenser's infinite ammo for this but uh, but I don't really uh, oh you know what what am I doing let's just do this come on oh this is just that one little part Oh, no, it's still, uh... Am I missing something here? Hold on. Hmm. Hold on, just a second. I'm gonna tear this target down. Let's go with the, uh... Oh, the M249 here. I mean, I know I said it's a strong, but I think I can cut down a target if I'm...
Oh, we got... I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this until this target is cut in half. It is completely possible. I know it. I've done it before. Oh no. Why? Why did you stop on me? No. We must cut this target down. No, 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 no. Let's uh let's go to two meters. Get a little closer here. Actually, you know what? I need tracers. Give me tracers. This is like using a laser to try to open up like a steel door or something. Come on, we can do this! I'm pretty sure I've done this before. I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. All right, let's just push that out. There we go. Oh my goodness. That took a long time. <laughs> that was uh, educational. But yeah, like I said, you can you can cut through a strong target. You just there's like some invisible uh, strings there. Of course, a weak target. Oh man, are you kidding me? Hold on. I want to make a point. It's right here, the D. There you go. But yeah, you can do that. I was just trying to make a point. Whoops. Uh-oh. My gun's glitching out. There we go. All right. Um. Oh, man. I got completely sidetracked. Oh, what was I doing? Okay. Um. The rocket. Okay, the canned meat. Uh, what was the canned meat again? <clears throat> This is like a frag. Um, no, not a frag round. Wait, hold on. I completely forgot what the canned bean was all about. Extra spiced. Ends prime. Meat and cuts. Nice. But uh, I think this was like a frag grenade, but it doesn't... Uh... Oh, man, I don't exactly remember what <laughs> what Anton uh, said about it, but uh, it's pretty cool. Let's go, uh, let's go a little farther. Hold on. Uh, clear. Let's go 10 meters. Let's set reset target. And... Okay, okay. Hmm. But yeah, you know, that's that's that that target, uh that uh that round type.
Ooh, a lot of smoke there. Uh, and these ones... Oh, yeah, I think we really do need to go outside for this. But the uh, wrong ammo is pretty much like a mortar. Leaves a nice little, uh... I guess you would call it smoke trail? Right? One, two, three... But yeah, it'd be better if you could uh, go outside and uh, shoot it up in the air. But again, you can just watch Anton's video for that. He, de he, de he demonstrates it really well. And this one is more of a rocket jumping tool. As you can see by the, uh, the round itself. I actually want to see how much damage it can cause. So let's clear. Let's go to three meters. Let's reset the target. Oh, that just made me jump. Eh, yeah, a nice rocket-shaped hole. Wrong ammo should probably do the same thing. Come on. No. Oops, I want to do wrong ammo. There we go, okay. All right, nice, yeah, rocket-shaped holes. Pretty good. Those are the new ammo types for the uh, soldier's rocket launcher. Pretty cool. Although I'm not much of a soldier guy myself. You know, it's always nice to have more explosives in the game. And uh, what else? I think that was pretty much it for the uh, <clears throat> for the the uh, 4th of July update. Oh, wait, hold on. Soldier got a new frag grenade. I forgot about that. Oh my god, it just exploded. <laughs> that is a really fast fuse. That is a really fast fuse, though. So the soldier got a new frag. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Yep, we already had that one before. Okay. Cool, cool. And I think that might have been it. Oh, wait, hold on. One more thing. Oh, hey. Anton added a uh, breech loading category in the uh, submachine gun rifle page. Uh, one thing that Anton finally fixed, which uh, I really liked, was the fact that now you can slide bolt <laughs> properly. Really cool. I like that. I love it. Love it. Love it. I'm going to reset this thing. Oops. Oh, I'm out. Let me spawn a little, let me spawn some more magazines here. Hold on, I need to get a better grip on my controller here. Oops. All the way. There we go. Still need to uh, get used to that. Although I completely uh, honestly think that it's pretty... Yeah, it is overpowered. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, it is pretty overpowered. But that's what you want, right? Oops, a little too, uh, I short stroked it, you know? You know what I mean? Well, like halfway, and I didn't quite, I didn't quite get the uh, bolt down. But yeah, so, you know, now you can quick bolt, uh, because the, uh, uh, I think the, the previous way it was done was that if you had a, uh, let's see, if you had a gun or, or a uh, bolt action rifle, 
with a bipod. The only way you could quick bolt or slide bolt was to use the bipod. Come on, there it is. But some guns don't have a bipod attachment. And uh, yeah. And also, I you know, I mean, I always, I always say this, but it's it's mostly because I like quick, I like slide bolting because I don't have to press on my track pads. And uh, of course, if you uh, if you've seen my, hold on, wait a minute. Oh no! Don't tell me this is broken as well. Anton, why? All right. Well, that needs uh, more work right there, but. Uh, Hold on, let me just check all these rifles. Okay, that should be good. Just want to check. Okay, that's good. This is the, um, the Mosin 9130. That one we'll have to tell Anton about. Somebody probably already did. Springfield 1903. Okay, that one should be good. Let's shoot off a couple of rounds here. All the way down. Oh no, this one's broken too. Oh no, wait. Ah, oh, no, nope, it's not broken. Safety was on. <laughs> okay, so the Springfield works. <clears throat> the SV98 should work, although maybe it won't. Okay, it does. It does work. 8400. Turn that safety off. I mean, I, well, honestly, I don't think it's that overpowered. You still have to aim. People think it, it's, it's, you know. Okay. But yeah, you still have to aim. And it's really hard to aim. <laughs> Especially if you don't have a gun stock. Right? I don't have a gun stock. So. I did the Sako 84, uh, 85, right? The uh, Model 70. I haven't done. Oops. Okay. Safety off. Okay, cool. This one doesn't work. Uh, the M40 A1. This should work. Okay, yeah. No, pretty much. Okay. Uh, M38 Mosin. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, come on. You can do it. There we go. <laughs> My thumb was a little too fast for that trackpad. Uh, let's see. 1891 Mosin. Let's see if this works. Whoa, hold on. Whoop. Yeah, that one is not working all the way. Hmm. Was the original one here? Yeah, these two do not work. Uh, let's see. I just did the uh, the infields, but let me just do this one. It should work. Yep, that one works. Uh, jungle carbine, car ninety eight K. Just stick this in there. Whoa, 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 yeah. Oh no. This one is also not working. Oh no. Oh no, Anton. Why? Alright, that, that one doesn't work either. Uh the FRF2 should work. I don't think it's broken. I've used it before. 
Because it has a bipod. It is. Okay. Cool. The Delisle Carbine. Alright. Yeah, that works, because it's basically an Enfield, but modified. Arcano. Sh well, I don't know if this one works, but we'll see. We will see. Okay. I just want to see the uh, clip fall out. What? Well, is it a clip or is it a magazine? I, I would think it's a clip, right? The, uh, the thing that holds the uh, bullets together is a clip, right? There's an internal magazine. Ah, uh, man. I don't know. I'm not gun Jesus. I don't know things. Uh, and then the, uh, the AWM should work. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat's closing up on me here. I'm talking too much. I don't know if you can quick bolt these, uh, maybe, uh, Anton fixed that, maybe he didn't, I... No, you can do it. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a little bad when you can do that to the anti-material, uh, material rifles, but, I mean, they all share probably the same code, since it's a bolt action, so, yeah. Let's just try the Chaytac. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a little overpowered, yes. I can agree with that. But the bolt actions, I don't think so. You know? um, I think that's all the bolt actions, right? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Just a second. We're forgetting about one guy here. The professional. Ooh, yes. It does work on the, uh, the snipers. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it works. Okay, cool. Mag Sanger. I think this one is um oh yeah, this is bolt action. Okay. Okay. Should be good. What else is there? Um The last bit. This is also bolt action, right? Yeah. Okay, that one works as well. Oh, wait. There we go. Just didn't didn't swipe it all the way. All right. So, oh yeah, the I was going to go to the pistols. Uh bolt action pistols should work as well. Hopefully. Oh, oh I don't know why I'm spawning a magazine. Yeah, that one works as well. The Obrez Mosin um, might have a problem with this one since it's... Um... Oh no, it actually works. Can't believe that. Wow. Okay. Let's check this, if this works. The Sako. Okay, that works. Definitely. Oh, and uh, uh, I completely forgot. Hold on. Um, which one of it was uh, one of these things? The Taz? Hold on. I think it might be uh, magazine fed. Yes, there it is. All right, let's... Uh... I forgot the safety. <laughs> I was like, Hoop. oh, nothing's coming out. Safety was on. All right, so that one works. Uh, I think that's about all the bolt actions in the game. Oh, uh, man, I'm trying to remember. What else is a bolt action? I don't know. These are bolt actions. Nope, 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 nope. 
Hmm. No, this is a uh, battle rifle. Oh, whoa. All right, guys, calm down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I think that's all the bolt action. So out of all the bolt actions in the game, the uh, Car 98K, the uh, Mosin 9130, and the uh, 1891 Mosin don't work. Cool. I think somebody probably already told Anton that because they're not busy recording. But uh, it's good to know, you know? So all of these work just fine with a new slide bolting feature. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and I think I should probably stop it about now because my throat is uh, kind of closing up on me here. It's getting kind of hard to swallow, so I should be resting. But nope, I'm doing this. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, lots of cool new additions and uh, fixes. Whoa, so many uh, sniper rifles right next to me on my desk here. <laughs> this is where my computer is right here. This, that's my monitor. 